going on everyone welcome back to the channel Casper's Kicks is checking in once again so today for y'all we're gonna have a discussion today I actually don't have a sneak review for y'all today um, I actually did want to talk about finish line and JD's new raffle method um, because today was actually the first day that I got to experience it for myself so I just want to kind of discuss how y'all feel about the new raffle method um, I know I think in a, a recent video I did I know I mentioned um, that they changed up their system and I wanted to make a video over it and now that I've gotten to experience it and go through the process that's what we're going to talk about today and I want to get y'all's thoughts on what y'all think about the new raffle process if you've experienced it already and if you were unaware that they changed the raffle process well we're going to talk about it in this video and you can get updated on what exactly they're doing now so stick around stay tuned but let's go ahead and jump into this video but like I was saying we're going to be talking about Finish Line and JD's new raffle method today. Um, it is actually very different than how they normally do their raffles. So, of course, uh, Finish Line and JD have done their raffles two different ways. So, either you've been able to go into the store and you can enter in store, like a raffle that do, you can go enter in a raffle ticket or sign a raffle ticket and then they'll draw names and they'll call the winners. Or they've done their app raffles where you just go into the app and you pick your size and all that, select your store and you enter that way and of course you could add your extra tickets on there to help try and guarantee or not guarantee but try and better your chances of winning a shoe um, and those were the two ways that they did it before now I preferred the app because I had points at finish the status points and so I was able to enter a bunch of extra raffle tickets to better my chances of getting that shoe and even then I was sometimes hit or miss so they did change this their met the raffle method and They've been testing this in different areas of the country. I don't know the exact areas. I think Colorado might have been one of the places. And I believe there was somewhere else that they were testing this raffle method to see how well it worked. So, basically, so, how I found out, let me see. Okay, so basically what it is, is it's exclusive access. So, like they're doing sneakers where they send out access to random accounts. And then you have the opportunity to go in and purchase the shoe. So with this one, they have exclusive access. So how I found out today, I got it. So I actually got sent a screenshot of the Pine Green 3s, which are getting ready to come out this weekend. A friend of mine had sent me a screenshot of, of his exclusive access. So I was like, oh, cool, let me go check. So I went and checked, and it turns out I did have exclusive access. And so what I did was I clicked on that, went and clicked on the size, and then it basically guarantees you a pair once you enter via exclusive access. So, it, I guess you could say it's easier doing it that way. The only downside, like sneakers, is there's no, I don't know how they determine who gets exclusive access. Now, after I went through that whole process and, and guaranteed my pair, I went back and I realized that, like, JD had emailed me and let me know that I had gotten exclusive access. And I just, I, I did the whole process backwards. So, but going back, I was able to see um, the whole steps of how they do everything. So, that's what I'm about to show y'all right now. So like I said, I did get an email letting me know that I had got exclusive access. Actually, I got an email telling me about the exclusive access and then I got another email letting me know that I had gotten exclusive access. So I'm gonna show y'all that. I'm gonna put up a screenshot so you can read along with me if you wanna read it. But this first email is actually what I got um, to start explaining what exclusive access was and just the whole program. So it says exclusive access and is powered by bot free technology which I guess is what they're called what finish line and JD are calling it um, but it reads the future of launches is here and then coming soon status members can get exclusive access to launch products before they release members will get first dibs on must-have drops from Jordan Nike Adidas and more we're talking about copying dunks Yeezys Jordans and Jordans before anyone else now I believe they did this same raffle method with the Yeezy 350 MX Oats that just came out but I did not get access to those so this one was for the pine green threes that are getting ready to come out and this is my first time getting access so moving on it says lock in exclusive access is earned in a number of ways bot free technology references 33 data points when evaluating your opportunities for exclusive access strengthen your candidacy just by completing your profile shopping online or at your local jd or finish line and engaging with our content so basically that's the same stuff that sneakers does on their app so it will be very interesting to see how well or how often you get exclusive access on finish line compared to how often you get exclusive access on sneakers 
Now, I guess they, they're just rolling out this program and I've already gotten exclusive access. I haven't gotten exclusive access on sneakers. I don't think I've gotten exclusive access this year on sneakers. So, finish line is already kind of winning in my opinion, but uh, we'll just have to kind of wait and see as more and more releases come out this year and they do it this way. Now, the last uh, sale paragraph reads, score more and once you're authorized by Bot Free Technology, you'll learn about exclusive access drops through push messages. So make sure to turn on all notifications and location services. That way we can keep you in the know on everything exclusive access like local offers and rewards and drops. So basically, I get I, like sneakers does the same thing where they send you notification and that way you know if you got exclusive access. Now like I said, I got an email saying I got exclusive access so I don't know if the push notifications have already started or if that's coming. We'll just have to wait and see um, when that's later down the line when that happens. Now moving on, it says how it works. Step one, look out for an invite via app or email. So I did receive an invite via email. Step two, log into, into your status account, go to your rewards catalog and redeem the exclusive access reward. Step three, select your size, de select your size details and follow the steps to check out. Your card will be authorized upon confirmation. Your card will not be charged until launch day. And then step four, bragging rights, your exclusive access is confirmed for launch day. Online orders will receive a shipment notification via email as soon as your exclusive access product is shipped. Store pickup orders will be available to pick up at your select JD or finish line location on launch day. So my pair is an in-store pair, so I have to go um, to my local JD on Saturday to pick up my pair. Um, so it'll be interesting um, doing the shipping if you get exclusive access to ship the shoe. Um, I know like Hibbit and City Gear does that where if you hit, they automatically charge your card and they ship out the shoe. So it'll be interesting to see. Now, this next screenshot I'm going to show you is what I saw when I was going through my email and it let me know that I had got exclusive access. So it just says exclusive access powered by Bot Free Technology and then it says flex before the rest. And then you have exclusive access to the soon to be released Air Jordan 3 Retro Pine Green. And then it has a button down below where you can click access now. Now, like I said, I had already done this prior to this, so I didn't click any of this in the email. But when I went into my finish line to confirm my pair, I went to my status page and then scrolled down to the rewards area. And as you can see, it shows, it's got a little thing you could click for the exclusive access. So I clicked that and then it had all of the sizes up and I just clicked whatever size I wanted and then it confirmed the pair and then it sent me an email letting me know where I would be picking up my pair and just what time I needed to go to the store and all that. So the time was like 11 to 5 for me so it's basically pretty much all day to go pick up the pair. Now I will say I didn't select my store so it must be the store that either you frequent the most or that you have saved on your profile already. So that may be kind of interesting like I know I travel sometimes and when I'm out when I go to different cities I'll enter for raffles in that city which I, I know I went to Austin one time and I did that so that'll be interesting to see how that works when you're trying to enter at a different store in a different location like will you be able to do that or I don't know I haven't done more research on on the process yet this was just from what I experienced today just kind of going through the system and going through their new raffle process. So let me know what y'all think about this new raffle process. Have y'all been able to experience it yet? Like I said, I believe this is fairly new. I know in some cities they were already doing this while we, well, some cities were already doing this method while we others were still doing the go in store enter or the app raffles. I don't know if this will eliminate um, app raffle or in store raffles anymore. It's just going to have to be another way and see, but I'm not going to lie if, this raffle method is more consistent with giving you dubs than I am here for it. I think it could be better just because you're dealing with in-store now, whereas with sneakers is straight online, so you're competing with basically everyone that's entering on sneakers, whereas if you're doing an in-store exclusive access, then it'll just be your local store that you're near. And so if you're quick, then you may be able to get whatever size you need and just jump on it real quick. Now I will say when I went on there, to look at the sizes, they had every size but my size, which was the 11 and a half. So I was, I don't know if they just didn't get 11 and a half or if they were already sold out. I don't know, but I do kind of like this method a little bit um, as of right now. Now, like I said, as the year progresses and we get more releases, I have to see if, how often I get exclusive access and just if it's better 
doing it this way compared to doing it the other way. Of course, you know, we have the flex method where you go in and enter your head starts and everything. So it'll be interesting to see who has the better raffle method, whether it be finish line and JD now or flex or I know like shoe pallets just in store. So it'll be it'll be the war of the raffles to see which one is better. But let me know in the comments what y'all think, which raffle method do y'all prefer. Like I said, have y'all experienced the new finish line and JD raffle method yet? Have you yet to experience it? Does this shock you that they're changing their raffle method? I know, like I said, some people may have had no idea that they were changing their method. But let me know what y'all think. As always, I appreciate y'all for stopping and checking out the video. Stay safe and stay blessed. Subscribe to the channel. Like the video. Hit the notification bell. Road to 500 subscribers. I think I'm at like almost 450 now. So all of y'all that are supporting, as always, I do greatly appreciate it. But stay safe and stay blessed, and I will catch y'all in the next video.